Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, today we have plenty of new toys and let's begin with this one right here. This is a brand new set called a Dino DNA Lab Kit with a Velociraptor, some lava and this really cool lab set. I'll be doing a review of this really soon, like maybe tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. So this is our first toy of the day. Next up, right here, we have some minifigures. These are actually um, from Kinder Surprise Eggs. As you guys can see, this is a Mosasaurus. And this one right here, it's actually a Dimorphodon. Cool. This one, it looks like a Velociraptor, but I think this could be a T-Rex. Yes, I think they made a mistake. But um not too sure. You guys let me know down below. Let's proceed on to the next one. We have an Indoraptor plush toy. This is pretty cool. I got this from New Zealand during my trip. And um over here we have the bigger one, the bigger Indoraptor plush toy, which has sounds. Check this out. So if you press it, it'll produce sound. Yeah. So let's have a comparison. This is a big one and this is a small one. Okay, and uh, let's proceed. We have more new toys hidden right in this box, so stay tuned for that. Um, next up, we have the Grab and Ground Indirector. Let's take a close look at this, shall we? And speaking of the new Grab and Ground Indirector, there's actually a new Battle Damage Indirector, which I will be getting really soon, okay? Check this out, the eyes can actually light up when you press the buttons, okay? Plenty of articulation, this is one of my most favorite Indoraptor figures. Right here with the Suko Mimers, and below this is actually a code for you guys to scan to get the effects on this dinosaur. Pretty cool, Suko Mimers, the Crocodile Mimic. Okay, next up we have this, um, which is relatively new, the anatomy kit. So it comes with this little, um, what do you call this? A little turner for you guys to actually turn um, the jaw like this. And this, you can actually move the legs. Check this out. The legs can actually move. And the other one is supposedly to um turn the organs inside okay let's take a look oops let's take a look i've never seen this to be honest with you but thanks to you guys i'm able to know yep so you can actually move the lungs so that's pretty cool as well right okay let's move on and of course you can actually remove the different parts of the body like the legs like this can see the skeleton this is the t-rex anatomy kit very cool i love this a lot this is very educational okay let's move on next up we have the spinosaurus check this out um the extreme chomping spinosaurus apparently this is like super rare cost um, the scalpers actually purchase all of them from the toy store and um collectors like ours have difficulty trying to buy them. Okay, and this Baryonyx is actually very cool. This is from the Lava playset. Awesome stuff. It has no sound as compared to the Raw River. Okay, let's move on. Um, this Indoraptor is actually, um, there's no sound, there's no playability in the jaw, but this is actually a pretty good figure as compared to other um, um, 12 inch figure yeah this is actually a 12 inch figure but this is the best one of them the Indoraptor of course uh, we have plenty of new figures where's my Dracorex I want to show you guys my Dracorex I think it is right inside this is a brand new figure check this out Dracorex this is from the Dino Rivals playset I got this from uh, New Zealand um, very new very rare Yep, and um, check this out from New Zealand as well. 
this is blue pretty figure and um other raw reverse to show you guys i think this is delta velociraptor delta check this out cool stuff from the dino rivers series this is supposed to be released in 2019 but i've got my hands on it yeah so i'm pretty happy let's um proceed to the next figure some older figures right here, Maxio Cantosaurus. If you guys know me, this is my least favorite Rorivol because of the jaw. It is ju just too wide open and it looks like the lower jaw is longer than the upper jaw. So this is my least favorite Rorivol. Okay, show you guys more brand new figures. We have the Protoceratops. A repainted version. This is actually from 2019 Dino Rivers series as well. Okay, this is nice. You can actually rotate the tail or move the head up and down. Very cool figure. Any more new figures? Let's have a comparison. This is blue from the, uh, from the attack pack. And there's actually a new battle damage blue as well, I think. Yep, moving on, we have the Ceratosaurus, which is also super rare. I was very fortunate, or Mattel actually sent me this. So I got my hands on it. Like, you know, I think I was the first one to review this, yep. So I was very, very excited. Um, more new figures hidden right below, so stay tuned. This is the Legacy Collection. Pecky Cephalosaurus. But this don't always work. You see? It's stuck right here. Yeah, so you have to press it back. Yeah, sometimes it, it gets stuck. Pecky Cephalosaurus, okay? Okay, let's move on. You have the Allosaurus, one of the classics from Wave 1. Still working well. Okay, where are my other new figures? Um, check this out. This is relatively new, a Dimorphodon. It's actually a gray version. So you can flap the wings, you can move the neck, and you can also move the jaw. So this is a very nice figure. Of course, you can move the legs as well. Oh yes, this is a new one, Ramphorhynchus. Yep, from Dino Rivers 2019 set. So I got this from New Zealand as well. I bought um, four of them. We have the Raptor, we have the Protoceratops, we have the Dracorax, and um, um, Velociraptor. Uh, I can't remember the fourth one, so let's, let's see. Let's see. Um, this is... This is... Herrerasaurus. Yep, always get mixed up. Check this out. Very cool stuff. I can't wait to get the battle damage um, Indoraptor. I saw it on eBay. It's really nice. And this is a, a repainted version of another Velociraptor. An orange version. Very nice. Okay. Um, which is the other new one? Okay, right here we have the Triceratops. Kinder Surprise Jurassic World Triceratops. So you can actually open them to review the skeleton inside. And this is our, um, I would call this the action attack Velociraptor. You can move the neck, move the jaw, move the arms, and they can actually pounce. So that's very nice. Next up, let's have a comparison with the older um, Protoceratops. This is the new one, and this is the older one. This is definitely way better than um, this version because the eyes look so amazing as compared. This looks, you know, unpainted. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is the new, newly painted Herrerasaurus. Yep, with the neck. Cool stuff. Stiggy Moloch. Yep, 
We have a new sticky mode lock. This is from the attack pack. What's next? Mimi. Mimi is also a pretty new figure. From the attack pack wave three, I think. Not too sure. Um, this is the battle damage pack key cephalosaurus, the sculpt. It's almost the same. I think it is exactly the same as this Pecky Cephalosaurus from the Legacy Collection. Yeah, exactly the same with a different paint work. I like this a lot. Cool stuff. Next up, Triceratops Battle Damage. Different colors with the Rory Vaw. Nice job as well. Another sticky Moloch, the battle damage um, series. The battle damage series has to be my favorite series. Yeah, I actually like them more than uh, the Rory Voss. Okay, this is actually from the Legacy Collection. Young T-Rex. Nice looking. And more minifigures inside. Check this out. Stegosaurus Very cute And right here we have the Galley Mimers Battle Damage Galley Mimers There's also um, an Attack Pack Galley Mimers But this is definitely way better And right here we have the Pecky Rhinosaurus Yep, this is not a Sinoceratops Comparison, both looking very awesome. Yep, um, we're left with a few more figures. The mini figure right here. I think this is the Raptor once again. But you know, on the sheet inside, um, is actually the little paper sheet inside is actually returned as a T Rex. So this is an Ankylosaurus. Okay, cool. Dimorphodon. Dimorphodon. So there are plenty of um, prehistoric flying reptiles. We have the Ramphorhynchus, the Dimorphodon, we have the Pteranodon as well. This one right here, it's pretty rare too. Proceratosaurus. The attack pack Proceratosaurus. Um, you can't rotate the neck, you can move uh, the limbs. Nice. Next up, we have the Ankylosaurus Wave 3 Rorivore, which is um, pretty rare too. Yeah, let's have a comparison with the Kinder Surprise figure. This Kinder Surprise figures are super rare as well because in many countries, you're not able to find them. You know, in USA, in Asia countries, I got this from New Zealand. So I'm very, very happy. All right, this brings us to the end of this box. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's review on this Velociraptor DNA Lab Kit. And I'll probably do a review of all the attack pack you know action figures okay i'm gonna pick my most favorite figure from this video once again you know definitely indoraptor grab and growl version you know it has to be in the top three most favorite item in this box or the dna anatomy kit t-rex definitely you know it has to be in this top three list um, and my third best, I'm gonna go with this Dracorax. Yeah, it looks brilliant. I think this is the best attack pack figure so far. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, guys, so hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment. 
Now try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. And if you're new here, my name is Dan. I upload dinosaur videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and Jurassic World. And don't forget, don't forget to press the little bell icon right below to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. My name is Dan, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.